Our next chapter will be on macromolecules. Before we learn about them, we first need to do a quick review on animal cell as it will help us get a better understanding of macromolecules. Let's look at our map, the level of organization. We started at the atoms, then we learned those combined to form molecules, then we learned about one of the most famous molecules, water. Now, starting from the left side, we have an organism. Inside it is organ systems, which are made up of many organs. Zoom in organs, we have tissue. They are layers of cell that is special for each organ. Zoom in from the tissue, we have cell. Okay, this is where we start our review. What is found at the center of the cell? And the outside of the cell? All the other stuff inside the cells are called what? An easy way to learn about cells is we think of cells are like cities. The membrane of the cell is like the city border or city's wall. The nucleus is like the city government building or the command center. So all of the organelles inside a cell is like buildings inside a city. Each has a special function that helps to make the city functional. Like building in a city, they are made up of building materials like bricks, steel, glasses, wires, and so on. The materials that make up organelles are macromolecules. Macro is Latin for big, so macromolecules simply mean big molecules. A bunch of these macromolecules put together will create an organelle. There are four macromolecules. Yes, but not everything can be used to create organelles. Just like buildings, not everything can be used to create a building. You can't use plastic or a building or paper or cloth. You have to use specific materials. The four macromolecules are carb, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Each macromolecule are divided into parts. The one part are called monomer and the many parts are called polymer. Some may need to be in the polymer form to work. Others can work individually as monomer. Let's compare. You have one atom, same as one part, monomer. A bunch of atoms put together makes a molecule. A bunch of monomer put together makes polymer. Molecules have many names. Polymers have many names. And just like atoms that bond to form molecules, monomers also bond too, but instead they're called linkage. They can be linked together. Just as well, they can be broken apart. Atom to molecules, you create bond and vice versa, you break bond. In macromolecules, linking them together is called dehydration synthesis or dehydration reaction. Breaking them apart is called hydrolysis. Don't worry, they'll make more sense later on. So here's our list. Let's explore carbohydrates first. Some of you may have heard of carbohydrates, commonly known as sugar. There are, however, many types of sugar, but for now we just keep it as simple as sugar. These are scientific sugar, a bit different than those. Carbohydrates are the power source for cells, like a city. The main power source is electricity, which powers everything. And like electricity, carbohydrates can be stored away for later use. We start with a simple sugar, a single sugar. A unique name for this category is monosaccharide. Mono means one and saccharide is sugar. So a monosaccharide is a one sugar. See, isn't that such a simple sugar? You can link monosaccharide together to form two sugar called disaccharide. Di is Latin for two. You can also link many monosaccharides together to form a long chain of sugar called polysaccharide. What's polysaccharide? And the process is to link all of these monosaccharides together is called dehydration synthesis. An easy way to remember is synthesis means to put together. 